Imagine running an online business where fast delivery, smooth inventory management, and top-notch customer service are the name of the game. Now add a touch of innovation to the mix, and that's what Fulfillment by Amazon is all about. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, product evangelist at Sellwrap, and today I'm going to discuss everything you need to know about fulfillment by amazon and how it will help you improve your business well here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video before we begin if you find this video helpful click the like button below and subscribe to sell wrap so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels Let's get started Fulfillment by Amazon is basically a service for the third-party sellers Amazon takes care of everything right from shipping and returns to warehousing picking packing and more Now, how does it work? You ship your products over to Amazon and they manage the incoming orders all you have to do is Focus on selling and ensuring Amazon has got enough stock. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, there's a catch. It comes with a price tag. FBA is a paid service, kind of like renting space for storage and fulfillment. The longer your product stays put, the more you'll pay. Plus, the cost depends on your product size. And if you're dealing with clothing, there's an extra $0.4 thrown in. However, if you're financially ready for FBA, you will get some benefits, 24-7 customer service, Amazon's prime eligibility, and Amazon handling all the nitty-gritty details of fulfilling and shipping the orders. With Amazon taking the reins on your orders, you get the chance to supercharge your business and reach even more customers. Now that you have got a clear idea of what FBA is, it's time to understand how Amazon FBA works step by step. Step one, set up your FBA account. Before Amazon takes over the handling of your orders, the first order of business is to establish your very own Amazon seller account. However, it's worth noting that this isn't a cost free endeavor. You have a couple of options at your disposal. Opt for the individual selling plan where you'll be built per item sold or opt for the professional selling plan, which comes with a flat monthly fee of $39.99. Regardless of your choice, you'll gain access to fulfillment by Amazon through Seller Central. Step two, log in and create your product listings. Once your seller account is up and running, it's time to start adding your products to Amazon's extensive catalog. Just ensure that you mark your listings as fulfillment by Amazon and hey, don't forget to familiarize yourself with the list of product restrictions so you are primed to smoothly ship orders using Amazon system. Step three, prepare your products for FBA. Now that your products are in place on Amazon, it's the perfect moment to ready them for their journey for fulfillment warehouse. Now take a look at Amazon's regulations for packing and shipping to guarantee the safe arrival of your items. Keep in mind that certain products might require specific preparations. If that's not something you're inclined to handle, Amazon offers an FBA prep service which you can access for an additional fee. When it comes to shipping, adhere closely to their guidelines concerning box dimensions, weight limitations, and packing materials, and always double check that your boxes are equipped with the appropriate information to assist Amazon in effectively managing their inventory. Step four, develop your shipping strategy. When you're fully prepared to dispatch your products to Amazon's warehouse, it's time to dive into the planning phase. A robust FBA shipping plan entails details, the product that will be shipped, the quantities of each item, generating labels for your Amazon shipment IDs, specifying your chosen shipping method and courier particulars, and even arranging the preparation and labeling of your inventory. Step five, it's time to sell. 
As soon as your inventory lands, it's prime time to kickstart your selling efforts. Keep in mind, the longer your products linger in the warehouse, the higher the associated costs become. This underscores the pivotal role of an effective Amazon sales strategy. The quicker you move your merchandise, the lower your expenditures and the more profits you'll make. Now, after getting your hand on the process, let's look into the costs associated with fulfillment by Amazon. Well, the FBA program operates on pay-as-you-go basis, ensuring you pay only for the services you utilize. These costs encompass storage space determined by the factors like size and weight and the handling of orders fulfillment as they occur. Notably, the fees encompass shipping expenses for products dispatched to customers and there are no additional charges for orders under Amazon Prime and those eligible for the free shipping. It's important to recognize that if you're vending lower priced items through FBA, the costs could potentially surpass what you would incur if managing fulfilling uh, independently. Hence, adopting a strategic approach to selecting the items you list on the platform becomes very much crucial. Now, here's a breakdown of the FBA charges, inventory storage fees, Amazon Levi's charges for each item stored within its warehousing facilities. The cost is contingent on the product size tier classification, long-term storage fees. Should your inventory remain in Amazon's warehouses for more than 365 days, the costs will rise. The inventory age report can help you identify the item subject to these long-term storage fees. Next is fulfillment fees. Upon a successful customer purchase, Amazon charges on a per unit basis. This covers activities such as picking, packing, shipping, handling, customer service and returns. For an estimate of these fulfillment fees, the FBA revenue calculator in the Seller Central can be a valuable tool. Unplanned service fees. If your products arrive at the Amazon warehouse without appropriate labeling or adequate product preparation, additional charges will apply for unplanned services. Removal order fees. For items you wish to extract from uh, the warehouse and the stranded inventory, that is items not listed for sale, you will be responsible for expenses related to Amazon's return or disposal services. The calculation of these removal fees takes into account shipping weight and a per unit fee. Next is return fees. In instances where a customer returns a product, a return processing fee is applicable. However, this fee solely pertains to items sold in categories that offer free return shipping, such as clothing and jewelry. Now, you might be wondering if FBA is worth the investment. Let me tell you how the program can help you grow your business and boost your bottom line. First, Amazon takes charge of customer service and returns. Ever feel like you're running a marathon to source, market, sell and ship your Amazon orders? FBA can be your ticket to reclaiming your time and freedom. You can finally kiss those long hours spent preparing individual orders, sending parcels worldwide and dealing with returns goodbye. All that's left for you is focusing on the selling part. Second, FBA facilitates business expansion, empowering Amazon to oversee a significant portion of your administrative tasks presents a low effort avenue to amplify your earnings. FBA extends your reach to a broader customer base and capitalizes on Amazon's esteemed reputation. By channeling more attention towards your products, coupled with the added trust factor, the transition to FBA alone can boost your conversion rates. Third, your products are eligible for Amazon Prime. A major advantage of embracing FBA lies in its association with Amazon Prime. FBA listings prominently feature the Prime logo, signaling to customers that Amazon takes charge of packing, delivery, customer service, and even returns. On an average, Prime members spend around $1,400 annually, whereas the typical Amazon customer's expenditure is around $600. With Prime accessibility, your profitability can surge rapidly as you cater to customer demographic that tends 
to spend nearly twice the average amount. By promptly integrating your products into Amazon Prime, you position yourself for potential sales growth as the subscriber base expands. Fourth, access to coveted buy box. Guess what? FBA opens the door to the highly sought after buy box. Now, why is it a big deal? It's the orange box on the right side of the page that makes it super easy for customers to add a product to their cart. Did you know 82% of Amazon sales flow through this buy box, making it a prime real estate for the sellers. But hold on, not every seller gets it. You've got to meet a few requirements, have a professional seller account, attend buy box eligibility status within the Amazon Seller Central, sell new items, keep your stock available. By storing your products within Amazon's fulfillment centers, you ensure they are well positioned to access in the buy box algorithm, thus increasing your likelihood of being prominently featured. Fifth, FBA might give your Amazon SEO a boost. Here's the deal. Amazon's algorithm often favors FBA sellers in search result rankings. And why does this matter? Similar to Google SEO, people tend to click on the top options at the page's start. The higher your item ranks, the more visibility it gets, leading to higher chances of making a sale. Before you decide to go with FBA, it's important to look at the downsides as well. Even though FBA might sound really good, it might not be perfect for your business. So here are a few things you should think about. Firstly, costs. You have to pay $35 a month to Amazon for your seller account. Then there are other fees we talked about before. If you sell cheaper products, using FBA can become a bit expensive. Next is preparation time. While you don't have to ship products to customers, you still have to send products to Amazon. You need to get everything ready and pack it the way they want, unless you pay extra for Amazon's help. Next is branding. With FBA, you can't control how your brand looks. Amazon's logo will be on the boxes and labels. This means you can't make your brand better known or add special touches that help you connect with your customers. Fourth, no email list. You can't make a list of emails from your customers with FBA. This is a problem because if Amazon stopped working, you wouldn't be able to reach your customers. Not having emails means you can't build a relationship with them or tell them about the new things you have. Now that we have explored the potential drawbacks of fulfillment by Amazon, let's delve into how you can optimize your e-commerce venture with FBA. Firstly, making smart product choices for FBA. Picking the right products for FBA is pivotal in ensuring your success your focus should be on the items that boost high sales potential and minimal competition, as these are more likely to yield profits. Additionally, it's crucial to ensure that your chosen products are there to Amazon's storage and shipping criteria. Be aware that certain items such as perishables or hazardous materials might not be permissible or could incur extra charges. Meticulous research and thoughtful product selection can profoundly impact your FBA journey. Next is harnessing Amazon's tools and resources. Elevate your FBA experience by fully leveraging the suite of tools and resources Amazon provides. The Seller Central dashboard offers invaluable insights into your sales performance and inventory control. The FBA revenue calculator becomes your ally in estimating the costs linked to FBA, empowering you to make well-informed decisions regarding the pricing and the profitability. Now, these tools stand as crucial assets in fine-tuning your e-commerce enterprise and maximizing the advantages of the FBA. Next is enriching FBA through multi-channel strategies. Don't confine your efforts solely to Amazon's platform. FBA can be a powerful tool for multi-channel fulfillment, enabling you to sell across various marketplaces or your own website while still enjoying the perks of Amazon fulfillment services. 
by seamlessly integrating the FBA with diverse sales channels, you can broaden your scope and cater to a wider audience, potentially amplifying your sales and the overall triumph. Now, fulfillment by Amazon is a great way to boost your online business. It's like having someone else handle all the delivery stuff and you also get to tap into Amazon's special prime customers who spend a lot. Now, this can really help your business grow and make more money. If your Amazon sales haven't been doing so great, you can try using FBA for a couple of products and see how things change. But here's the thing. FBA might not be perfect for every business. If you sell things that aren't very expensive, the extra fees for FBA might not be worth it. Remember, it's important to do your research and think about everything carefully to make sure that using FBA will actually make your money instead of you know costing you. If you need help to launch, grow and run your Amazon FBA business, you can always connect with our experts at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Sellerapp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!